Hi everyone. In this video, I want to demonstrate how you can produce your own sound loop or object in Magix Music Maker Premium 2017. And what I'm going to do is produce a simple drum beat. When you start Magix, it normally presents you with this usual screen of the tracks on the left here, the sound pools down the right, and the loops just to the right of that, and the instruments. But what I'm going to do is to click on Edit, and at the top here, there's an option to Create New MIDI Object. If that option isn't available, scroll down to Object, Create New Object, Create New MIDI Object. And what I want to do is to produce an empty object of four bars long. So I'm going to click on that option there. Now what's this done is put an object into the timeline, sorry, into the first track of four bars, but there's nothing in it. If you tap the space bar and play that, it's dead. There's nothing there. Stop that. Down here is what is called a virtual keyboard. And if you click your left mouse button and play, it will play the instrument that is shown up here, which is the Piano Pro. There, click away. But what I want to do is I want to make a drum beat. So double click the object and that will take you into the MIDI editor. Now this looks a little bit daunting, but it's nowhere near as bad as it seems. Let's just close that a moment. Here is the keyboard on a horizontal scale and here is the object. Double click the object again. All they've done is turn the keyboard on its side. So here's the keyboard on the left and here is the object, which is four beats long. Again, you've got one, one, two, one, three, one, four, two, one, two, 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 three, until four, four. At the top here is the instrument that is used to produce that Piano Pro instrument or sound. But I don't want that. I want the drums. So if you click on this drop down menu here, it will present you with the instruments. And I'm going to use the drum engine and I'm going to use the drums, where are we? Let's use electro drums in the stadium, this one here. Click that. This will bring up the drum engine. This is the engine that is used to produce the drums in Magix. And here we've got a keyboard that shows you the notes you can use to play all of those drums. Let's just click across them. Okay. And this one here is C1. And what I'm going to do is to produce a sound similar to this. Okay. We can close that because we've now got the drum engine already up and running. And on the left here is the keyboard. If you notice, C1 is right down the bottom here. So let's just scroll that display down when it decides to pick up the scroll arrow. Thank you. Scroll down to the bottom. Here we have C1. And if you click on that button, it will play that drum. The D. Don't worry about the highlight, that's just because the button is still pressed. At the top here, we have a selection tool and a pencil tool and various other tools to play about with. What I'm going to use is the pencil tool, like so, and I'm going to use C1 there. And what it does is puts an object in this timeline. We're using C1 and D, if you remember. We want that one. And what I'm going to do there is to put a D in uh, one three here. And we can play that, tap the space bar. I'm going to use the selection tool again. I'm going to highlight those two objects. Don't forget these are still objects. 
they're just objects exactly the same as you see in the, the tracks. Hover over the center of the first object, press the control key down and I'm going to copy that to bar 2 1 and 3 1 Oop, where are we? There we go. If you notice when you move these up and down it'll play all sorts of noises. It's actually dynamic. And I'm going to copy it to 4 1. Right so so let's just click away from that and let's play that. And so it repeats. Stop that. Close the MIDI editor down. And that is now part of this object. If you click away from the object, the timeline, the play marker there at the start. Let's just play that. And so it repeats. Let's double click that. And let's just move this out of the way. Just as much as this is an object that, being, that can be copied, hold the control key down and copied, like so, any way you like. Let's just delete that. So this is an object, just as much as in here, these are objects. So these can be copied too. So what I want to do is take this noise or snare, whatever you want to call it, I'm going to hold the control key down and I'm going to copy that four beats further along. There, one, two, three, four. And I'm going to take the last one here and copy that one four beats along. Like so. And then I'm going to play that. Let's play it. Stop that, close the MIDI editor down, and now that is what that object sounds like in the tracks. Let's play it. And so it repeats. Let's extend the amount of play time. And what I'm going to do is highlight that as usual. In fact, let's just click away from that. What we can do here is highlight the object, right click and look at the properties of that object. And here it says the object name. Now you can give it any name you like. So you can click and delete that name. And let's just call it drum plus noise. Oh, what happened to the D? Okay, we'll put a D in there. Where's the D? Come on. There we go. And now it's got a name, drum plus noise using the drum engine. And the reason I've used the plus sign there is because Magix won't allow you to use the ampersand sign. It'll just put an underlying character there instead. And if I hold the control key down now, left click and drag and copy that and put it up to the end and copy and let that go. Click away from it. Now let's play that. And there you have it. Well, hopefully that's given you an idea of how you can generate your own sound loops in Magix. You can use any of the engines that you want, but enjoy having fun playing around with them. I hope that's been helpful to you.